In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this line text review animation in After Effects. And without much further to do, let's dive right into After Effects. In After Effects, I'm going to add in the text layer. The text to keyboard shortcut is Command T or Control T on Windows. Then I'm going to type in Motion. So I want this to be at the center of my composition. And what I'll do is first, I'm going to make sure that the paragraph is set to center, that center text, and then align. I'm going to align this like so. But before that, make sure that your anchor point is at the center of your text or the object so to do that i'm going to hold down the command key or the control key double click on the pan behind tool and that will position it at the center then you can align it at the center of your composition so i'll duplicate the text double click on it and then type in design you see that both texts have almost the same length but that's not an issue because with this trick i'll show you how you can reuse it with any text so for now i'm just going to reposition the text layer somewhere around here that's the design text layer so using the pen tool i'm going to make sure that the fill is set to none and then for the stroke i'm going to set it to white then the stroke width should be around 20. while holding down the shift key to have a straight vertical line i'm going to create a line like this hold down the control key and position the anchor point at the center make sure that it's centered vertically with that done i'm going to add in the mask layer and I'm going to use a rectangle tool for that. Make sure that the stroke is set to none. Then we have the fill set to color. So I'll use this. With that done, I'm going to just cover up the entire text. Then I'm going to press Y. That's for the anchor point tool. So that I can reposition the anchor point right here. Finally, I'm going to move this to somewhere around, let's say here, just before the text. And bring this down below the line. Now let's label everything so that we won't get confused. So the first thing here is the line. Next we have the mask. Then we have the text that's motion and design. So with the mask layer selected, I'm going to press P, that's for the position. And then open up the line and press P to view the position property. Then I'm going to pick whip the position property of the mask to that of the line. So that each time I move the position property of the line, the, that of the mask will also be moved around. Selecting the motion text layer, I'm going to go under the effects and presets, then add in the set matte effect. Under the effect controls, I'm going to set the take matte from layer, and then I'll choose mask. That's our mask layer that we've created. We don't need the mask layer to be visible, so I'm going to hide that layer. Position my playhead at the very start of the layer. Now selecting the line layer, I'm going to open it up, go to add, then trim pad. Open up the trim path, then set the keyframe for start and end. Move about 15 frames ahead and set in the second set of keyframes. So back to the first set of keyframes, I'm going to set the start to 50 and the end to 50. Then for the other set of keyframes, I'm going to set the start to 100 and then the end to 0. So the playhead position right here, I'm going to open up the transform, locate the position property, set the first keyframe for that, move one second ahead. But you can play around with the timing, it doesn't really matter, you just have to give it some space. Then I'm going to add in another keyframe for the position. And for this position, I'm going to move the line like, let's say, around here, so that the entire text will be reviewed. So let's say here, yeah, around here is good. With that done, I'm going to move one second ahead again. Copy this first keyframe and paste. That's Command C to copy and Command V to paste. Copy this other set of keyframes. That's for the start and end trim path properties. Copy that and paste. Right click on any of the keyframes. Then keyframe assistant set these to time reverse keyframes i'm going to position my playhead right here that's at the center of the entire animation then bring in the design text around here now selecting the motion text i'm going to open up i'm going to copy the set mat uh, effect that we added to it then select this design text layer and 
paste it there. And the final thing to do is to set this to inverted. Now we have to make the animation to be smooth. And the best way we can do that is to ease, ease these keyframes. So selecting all of these keyframes, that's for the start and end first. I'm going to press F9 to easy ease the keyframes. I'll click on the graph editor right click and make sure that edit speed graph is selected select this first set of keyframes then drag it to like so that's to the end and same thing the other way then selecting the position property and select it again then press f9 to ease it i'm going to select this first handle and drag it here and same thing the other way so if everything is done correctly you're going to have an animation like this remember i told you we are going to make this animation to be reusable say for example we have another text layer right here and the text says graphics instead of design and if you notice like from here you see that the letter g is cut out and that's not looking good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it on my playhead right here. That's for the second, that's for this position keyframe. And then I'll simply move it, let's say around here, so that the graphics text will be visible. So there you have it, how to create this line text review animation in After Effects. Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow. And until the next one, keep editing.